This video will explain the physics of aquatic therapy. The most important physical effects playing a role in aquatic therapy are buoyancy, hydrostatic pressure, hydraulic resistance and thermal energy transfer. Buoyancy. If the density of an object is lower than the density of water, it will float. If it's higher, it will sink. The human body tends to float. When a person is submerged in water, the amount of weight that is carried by the legs and the spine is reduced tremendously. Hydrostatic pressure. Water exerts a pressure on any object that is submerged. This pressure is called hydrostatic pressure. When the human body is submerged in water, hydrostatic pressure forces the blood to the central part of the body. Because the heart senses there is more blood available and therefore it can operate more efficiently, the heart rate slows down. Hydraulic resistance. The amount of resistance experienced by a moving object in water is about a thousand times higher than in air. This resistance increases exponentially with speed and therefore moving an object in water requires much more energy than in air. Thermal energy transfer. Water is much more efficient than air in transferring thermal energy. In water, the human body cools down much quicker than in air and therefore it's virtually impossible to become overheated in an aquatic therapy pool. Because of the physical effects used in aquatic therapy, buoyancy, hydrostatic pressure, hydraulic resistance and thermal energy transfer, water offers a safe and low-impact exercise environment.